Hello, tested audience and everybody else, it's Adam. Um, I am today standing in front of a piece of equipment that you might have seen if you've watched our videos, sitting in the corner of my shop, gathering dust and covered with crap. Um, it has been pulled out front and center because I'm about to use my two by three foot vacuum forming machine. This is a beautiful machine. It is a great size. This actually has been used in special effects. I know a few weeks ago, I used my baby vacuum former on Tested for the first time. I figured it was also time to break this out. Now, what is vacuum forming? Vacuum forming is taking a sheet of plastic, like this sheet of ABS eighth inch plastic, putting it in a frame, lifting that frame up to a heating element, which is that. Yeah, this will all work when I get it going. Heating it up until the plastic gets droopy and then pulling it down over a form. Now, what kind of form? What do I mean by a form? Uh, what I mean is I will pull it down over a buck that I made out of MDF. That is my buck. Now, what this is is an OPS. It's the device that goes on top of an astronaut's backpack in the Apollo era, and this is an exact replica of the shape of that. I want to make some out of ABS plastic, uh, and that's what I'm gonna use the vacuum former for. So, we'll walk you through the steps. Let's double check that that lifts. Ah, excellent, all right. So, once this is up, I turn on the heaters. Now, I have 12 heating elements in here, and I can turn on six at a time with these two switches. I can turn on the odds or the evens. But before I turn any of those on, I want to actually activate the vacuum. The vacuum comes courtesy of these two five-gallon air tanks. What I will do is I will use this vacuum pump to evacuate both of these tanks, like this. Now it is pulling a vacuum. When it's pulled a vacuum, I turn it off. It's not a full vacuum yet, but this is just to tell the point. Now these are under vacuum, so I will, once this plastic gets hot, pull it over my buck and I'll activate the vacuum. And that will suck the plastic down over the buck, in theory. In practice, it's a bit of a touchy art form. I don't expect the first pull to go perfectly, but I will learn enough to make the second and third pulls go Really nice. Here we go. The first six heating elements are a go. So now the ABS is slowly heating above my uh, MDF buck. And I want it to droop a fair bit. Uh, now I have a problem that if I turn on all of my heaters at once, I'm actually gonna blow my fuse. So I can turn them on for about a minute to get this uh, ABS sheet warm before I'll blow the fuse. And I don't wanna do that because I need the fuse to pull the vacuum. There's a lot of moving parts to this, but hopefully uh, when this thing droops down to about here, it will be uh, uh, flexible enough that when I pull it down over the buck and, wait, where is it? Yes, push this frame down around it, I should be able to get a really nice pull of this. Oh, it's doing good, it's doing good. It's getting nice and soft. Let's give it a shot, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go, turning off the heater, bringing it down on top, bringing this down here and, Yes, I think, I think that's quite reasonable. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a very reasonable approach. Let's see, good, good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Even though I put the uh, ABS in upside down, I didn't want the, the, the textured side up, but it doesn't really matter. This whole thing's getting covered with a cloth anyway. Whew! I haven't used this machine in years. Where did you pop a hole? I heard the hole. Ah, that's where it went. Copy that, okay. I know just the tool. Reciprocating air saw. This ought to do it. I learned a bunch of things during this form. 
I learned that I think I got the plastic actually too warm. I learned that I need a, um, a tighter I may have to slice in order to get this off, but I'd rather not if I don't have to. To manipulate this until I get it out. Yep, here it comes. Come on, come on. Come on, little doggy. That's it. Ta-da! There we go. First test casting of an Apollo OPS. And that, that's my large vacuum former. Isn't that cool?